Welcome to the Swamp, home of the Florida Gators, and we've long been told it is here that only the Gators get out alive. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see, the number six team in the country, the Texas Longhorns, taking on another SEC rival, the Florida Gators. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Longhorns will kick it away to start. Here he comes from inside his own five. He's got great speed. They bring him down, but not before a really good return sets up this offense in solid field position. So the Florida Gators offense will start this game off. And here he is. Let me tell you about this wide receiver. He is a route-running, DB-toasting, pass-catching, touchdown-scoring, woo, son of a gun. <laughs> I can't wait to see how this deep running toward the tape. At the 20. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. And the Gators will try to put one on the board on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Now on second and goal. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Florida! You take advantage of tendencies when you set that opening script, and man, their film study showed up there. I think the offensive coordinator, it's almost as if he knew what the defense was going to be playing. He knew the personnel. He knew the different looks and coverages and fronts that they were going to see. And that offense, they just chomp up yardage moving down the field to score in that opening series. Lining up to add another. And the extra point makes it 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. They're just about ready to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Longhorns offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. One thing to watch. Can this guy get in the quarterback's head and make him take a peek at the rush, David? Dang, Skippy. That's what you want to do. You want to make this guy a little bit more human and not as much of a game-breaker at the quarterback spot? Get some pressure on him. Hit him a few times. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the country, but he can't hurt you if he's laying on his back. And this defensive end can put him there often. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator to pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. Might as well stick with him. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. It's not a flashy play call, but that is exactly what it was designed to do. Get two yards, get the first down. Now on first and 10 from the 27. Use the play fake, now to throw. It's complete to the right. 
Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You gotta be versatile. I gotta be able to trust you in the pass game, and I gotta be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're gonna catch it, and I can depend on it. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. Scanning the field, it's Ewers. Throws to the tight end. It's caught. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And, and that's the beauty of running play action. Everybody sucks up, plays the run, and you get to slip that tight end down the field with a full head of steam, make a big play. And the Longhorns look to keep this drive humming. The play action fake. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Man, that's a big missed opportunity for the running back. I'm trying to find ways to feature this guy and get him the football in space and not just hand it to him all the time. And I'll tell you what, I'm a lot less likely to find those plays if he can't reel in those catches. Here they come on second and 10 from the 47 after the incompletion. Pressure gets to him, down goes the quarterback. You see a Gator bringing the heat like that, you think about Derek Harvey, who was the MVP of the national championship game in 06. And Alex Brown and Javon Kurtz, they had a long list of guys that can really make the quarterback's life difficult. You gotta put pressure on the quarterback. You gotta affect him. Really nice job on this play. From the gun, wants to pass. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. And how nice is it to have the home crowd going absolutely bananas? Communication is harder. The, the snapping the football, everybody being on time. Man, this crowd really affecting the football. The Longhorns will bring the punt team onto the field. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Florida has the ball back and here comes the offense. Feeling some heat. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And that's a great play by the defensive end. The best athletes on the field play defensive end. You can ask anybody. Yes, I agree, Jesse Reese. See, they agree with me. Same thing. But you watch them get off the football, make the play. That's why you put your athletes there. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. They'll give it to Johnson. Weaves his way ahead and gets five out to the 18-yard line. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality. Offensive line gets to assert themselves. Run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Back to throw, it's Flagway. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. All right, this quarterback is going to have to start playing with a clock going off in his head. He knows he cannot hold on to the football too long with players like that getting after him. The Gators decide to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. He'll call for the fair catch here. Here comes the Texas offense. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter. He's off to the races. He gets it all the way down to the five-yard line. A terrific catch and run before he stopped. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. The Longhorns are threatening on first and goal. He caught it! He gets it in! Touchdown, Texas! 
quick strike touchdown comes out and jump starts the offense. And man, we see this in college football, so much explosiveness and firepower, and we get high scoring game after high scoring game, and it looks like we're on pace for one of those right now. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Right down the middle. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Gators sending the offense back to work. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Bro. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. Now on second down and short. Wide receiver shows motion. The handoff to Johnson. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. Looking to throw for it. Gets it out fast. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, it's a nice job, too, of the quarterback after the play fake there, getting his eyes down the field. He had to get that to his tight end quickly, knowing he wasn't going to have a lot of space to run with after the catch. The Gators come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Pulls it and fires to the left. Just broke the tackle and still on his feet. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. And I love the idea of getting this guy screen throws because of his ability after the catch. So nice job getting downfield, getting a hat on hat, and giving him a tunnel to run through. And the Gators have their offense in high gear. Leaves it with the running back. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking to throw, it's Lagway. Makes the grab on the left. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. And that throw was a bullet by the quarterback on that curl route in zone coverage. And how about the anticipation? He gets rid of this pass before his receiver is even turned around. I love it. The Gators have taken it inside the 20. Running back goes in motion. On third and short, they'll try to convert through the air. Got his man in the middle. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. That is so deflating on defense, too, because in your own red zone, third down, you need to make a stop. You know they're going to throw to the weapon at tight end, but it's one thing to draw it up on the blackboard. It's another thing to go execute and prevent that guy from catching the ball. He's so big. He's so athletic. You could have the perfect play call on, and he's still picking up the first. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll run play action. 
and he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. Well, the quarterback had the look he wanted. He had his big fella down here in the red zone. That's supposed to be an easy pitch and catch, but his buddy puts it on the floor. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third down, going up top. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to get the three. Absolutely perfect. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. To the air, it's Ewers. Firing to the right, complete. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. And the Longhorns racing to the line in the hurry-up. Movement here from the tight end. Some misdirection with the counter. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front? Well, they want to come out and try to get the run game established, but up front defensively, they made a play. They gave up nothing on that Got to find some breathing room if you're going to establish yourself on the ground, and there wasn't any that time. Yeah, Reese, I wonder now if this offense is maybe going to try to get to the perimeter of the field and see if they can use their speed to hurt this defense. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit of the time to get to that first down mark. A nice job by the defense there, tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Let's it slip right through his hands, and it'll be fourth down after the rare drop from this dude. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result, now they're fourth down. The Longhorns will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return possible on this one. It goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Going to try to get it himself. He scrambled forward and got a few and turned that into a positive play. You see a lot of quarterbacks get in trouble when they start forcing things. He did a really good job. He wanted to throw the football. You could tell drops back. Nothing open. It's okay. I'm just going to take off and get what I can get. Line getting set on second down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Here on third down. Back to pass. It's Flagway. Quick strike complete. He'll have enough for the first down, and they stop him at the 45. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are looking so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. Quick completion to the right. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Great effort by the defense here. Offense trying to go wide receiver screen. How about the speed on defense rounding to the football? And here comes the offense on second down. 
He's looking to throw. The quick out. Stopped after making the catch. And listen, I'm going to move this guy every. He's in the slot this time, but I'm not going to let the defense understand where he's lining up so they can double team him. Put him in the slot. Put him out wide. Either way, find this guy early and often. They'll snap it from the 48 on third and short. They're going to throw it again. Fires toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Gator! Man, that's a play this kid has been running ever since he was seven years old at the park with his best friend. He's throwing the go routes right down the field. I'm running by a guy, I'm looking back, locating the football, making the catch, and he does it in a big moment here in this game. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the capper coming on that 48-yard touchdown dart. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. The Longhorns sending the offense back onto the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. It's first down from back at their own 24-yard line. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Wide open downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. That's a really nice-looking catch, you know, and it's shocking when you think about Texas Longhorn football. Not a lot of names jump out at you when you think about great wide receivers here, right? Yeah, Roy Williams, Jordan Shipley, not too many. This guy, though, I think has a chance to be special. This guy could go down in Texas history as one of the all-time greats. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. We're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Losing a couple on that last play here, second and 12. Wants to throw, it's Ewers. Got his man quickly. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. And the Longhorns have it with a first and 10. Takes a handoff. It's blue. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So he gets stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now on this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in the block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. Out of the gun, the give to the back. step out of bounds but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense while we're only through one these quarterbacks have been lighting up their stat lines challenge here they've taken a punch but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second 
They'll put the tight end in motion. Off the play fake on first down. And he's lucky to get that one back. This junior quarterback knows better than to try that too often. Oh, and on defense, you just got to be able to finish that play. That defender had the football in his hands. He's just got to catch it. That should have been an interception. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Dropping back, it's yours. And they get the sack just like that. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, the offense, you're hoping the run fix is going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. doesn't need to take the check down. He's got it on the move. Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business with a first and goal. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down, and more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good, so efficient, such a good route runner, got the speed, got the complete game, so you definitely want to highlight him, and especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him, he'll make those contested catches. And they corral him at the two-yard line. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next one. They moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Longhorn! I tell you, when this drive started, the defense thought they had them in a hole. Not anymore. What a performance. And I really like the play calling by the offensive coordinator on that last drive. That was a nice mixture of running and throwing and getting different players involved. Really nice job. Very poised in that play calling, and it showed up with a touchdown. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they close it to a 17-14 game. That makes the score. Florida, 17. Texas, 14. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Coming out with it, it's Hawkins. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Here's the handoff. Hey, that's a live ball. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. As a defender, you love the big hits. And you know what the cherry on the Sunday is? When you get the big hit and force the fumble. The offense set for a first down play. Use the play fake. Now to throw. It's caught downfield. And the defense was right there to make the tackle, but not before they get it to the 12 and set up in the red zone. The Longhorns have moved it inside the 20. Back to pass, it's Ewers. Got it! They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it, got the positive game. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. The Longhorns trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. He's looking to pass. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Texas! 
And a really nice job understanding I got to get to that gap where there's a little bit of open space in the middle of the field when I run that post route. QB lays it out for him and he catches it, gets two feet in bounds in the end zone, touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they take a 21-17 lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. Just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it back looking for help. And the returner goes down. The Gators sending the offense back to work. As it turns out, the fumble on that last drive set up the touchdown, David. And there's no bigger stat in football than turnovers. You turn the football over, they turn it into points. Jesse, that is not a recipe for success. Good news, though, they get another chance, right? They can make amends with this drive right here. That's all that's important. You've got to execute, you've got to lock in. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The give to the back. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. That Gator ground game is lurking in the murky waters, and it has been most effective. Yeah, and we've seen them in the past, man. When Florida's really, really cooking, they've got some good good backs they've got some good balance but they've got some physicality and that's what you want to see from this unit they'll give it to Johnson didn't get much done on that Ryan he'll fight his way out and maybe maybe pick up a yard and just a great job by the defense being stout All right that's your job be stout on front stuff in the run play make them get in more passing situations but do not let them run the football that's one-on-one stop the run first they got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Quick pass on the fly motion. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. Back to throw, it's Lagway. Finds a man in the middle. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course he said the open one, but we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously the politically correct answer, but you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. Tackled immediately after the catch. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a problem. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. And now on second down for this offense. They keep attacking through the air. Quick completion on the out route. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Man, this quarterback is having himself a day. Over 200 yards in the first half. It was hard enough for Palmer to get over 200 in a game, more or less in a first half. The Gators come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll try the run. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Well, you love to see that from the defense, right? It's like men don't break. They've given up a bunch of plays on this drive, but now that they're getting down close to field goal range, you're seeing them start to stiffen up. Yeah, and plays don't matter anymore. Yards don't matter. All that matters with these defenses nowadays is points and limiting them. Got it. In the middle, it's Wilson. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. And quarterback dropping back, understanding. I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. 
A third down play coming from the 32 as they try to keep the drive going. Trying to pick it up on the ground. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. Yeah, that's a really good job by the defense because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing both, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. Would have just been a 49-yard field goal try, but they're hungry for touchdowns, so they'll try to move the chains on fourth and short. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. They'll test the right side. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And you hear about the run blitz. This is exactly what a run blitz is. When you know the ball's coming up the middle, you want to bring those linebackers, get them closer to the line of scrimmage, and fire right when the ball snaps. He's coming downhill, doing a good job creating a loss. That linebacker really knew what was going on. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Rides to the back. They get him stopped at the 32. That's a gain of four. Offensive linemen love to run power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Dropping back. It's Ewers. He lobs one high down the left side. Hits him in stride at the 10. Touchdown, Longhorns! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with a big play. 68 yards on the touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. What a turn that last drive was. Didn't pick up the fourth down, and it led to the scoring drive, David. Yeah, and those are frustrating, because you, you think you might get points, and then your defense gives up points. This has got to be a complimentary football-type deal. The offense now needs to provide a little spark and give this defense some hope. No doubt, David. they got to turn the page, and they've got to play with a little bit more urgency here, knowing they've got to get that one back and put a good drive together. Back to the ground with the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, they're just going to need more push up front. There was nowhere for that running back to go. The offensive line got moved right back into his lap, and as a result, they lose yards on that play. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. To the air. It's Flagway. He lost it high and deep down the left side. He's loose. Pass the 10. He found open space. The band might as well start playing. You know, sometimes as a play caller, you just don't have to overthink things. I've got a guy who's faster than your guys, and he's just going to run straight down the field. I'm going to throw it way down the field. He's going to make the catch, and we're going to score a touchdown, and that's pretty much what just happened there. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. 
And the score comes with a quick strike up top, covering 79 yards. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And here comes the Texas offense back on the field. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, and I gotta score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like I gotta make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I gotta hit them too. We can't let our serve get broken. The give to the tailback. Maybe picked up a couple, he's down at the 24. Yeah, a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays, but sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well, but if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. Looking for a man. It's Ewers. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. Grab behind the line. It's Moore. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route really when it's off cover. But you can tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for the loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free. Willing to make it the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved and I'm on defense because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication. And it can really rattle an offense. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Roughing the kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Looking for a crease. It's blue. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Dropping back, it's Ewers. Got his man on the right. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. How about this offense? They're rolling. They got a couple first downs together. Defense, next, what's your response? What do you got? You got to make some adjustments here. And the Longhorns are on the move. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. He caught it! Perfectly thrown ball, nice catch, good tackle, but it's first and goal from the five. This quarterback obviously did a lot of film prep coming into this one. He has been picking this defense apart. With that last completion, guys, he's now got over 300 yards passing. The Longhorns trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. 
They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, you're in the red zone. You bring out a bunch of tight ends on the field. So the defense, they were expecting a run on that one. They were physical, and they were able to force the negative field. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? He'll run it to the right here and try to get it into the end zone. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range. You got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. So loud is rattling your fillings on third and goal. They'll try to pound their way in. Not down for the tackle. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Second quarter might not be gamble time, but inside the three, Palmer, I've got the green light. I'm going for this. I am too, and you're essentially running a two-point play here, right? You've got a play you practice all week long. That's the play you dial up right now. He's not going to get there. Stop short on fourth down. He'll try the left side. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. To the air, it's Lagway coming after it. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. Texas. Feels like they're just inches away from their own end zone, and it's third and long. The handoff to Johnson. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of the stance and beat the offensive lineman? Number getting to the running back. Cat like quickness. And the Gators will punt this one away. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. And the punt team able to smack him to the ground. So Texas has it again, and here comes the offense. On that last drive, fourth and goal didn't exactly work out. They, he'll take the deep shot. He's got it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas. Texas fight and fighting them through the air and on the ground, reminiscent of Colt McCoy's big day against AM in 2009. Yeah, just doing whatever they want. And this is a good spot to be. Listen, Texas gets a highly recruited kid at quarterback every single year. Can this be the guy that takes them to the next level? Today is a good day. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. The Gators sending the offense back to work. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive, all kinds of room to the right. Running inside the 20. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Gators! And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop to go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Getting set for the point after. And 
It's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinator. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And here come the horns. They've got it again on offense. Looking to throw at Ewers. And this looks disastrous. Oh, down he goes. A huge loss on that play. I tell you what, man. You, you better be looking at your puppy dog feet and seeing where they are, Palmer. You don't want to get back in that end zone and bad things happen when you get sacked. I don't know if you want to even risk this quarterback having to hold on to the, foot, to the football very much longer after watching that last play. This defense right now is pinning their ears back on this area of the field, and they are getting after him quick. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place trying to help their defense. They'll go to the ground. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. On the run, it's blue. And this one will be stopped for no gain. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And the Longhorns will call on their punt team. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. So from the shadow of his goal post, he gets the punt away. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. All right, guys, you've been calling a magnificent game there in Gainesville so far. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have defined this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. With that said, let's send it back to our guys and all those chomping hands there in the swamp. All teed up and ready to go here in the second half. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. So now the Longhorns take over and they'll send out the offense. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. Didn't get a lot done on the ground. They did, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. That was obvious in the first half. And so this... Oh, he dropped it! Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Man, that's a big mistake, and listen, I'm still going to force feed my playmakers. If I'm that quarterback, I'm that OC, I'm walking over to that guy like, listen, it's okay. It's a little bit of a mistake. We're still going to find ways to get you the rock. You're too important to this team not to give you the football. Excellent field position here for the offense. Coming out on first down with the play fade. Got his man down the middle. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a short and heavy tackle on the tight end. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. He'll pull it on the read. Trust that arm out. He goes out of bounds after a solid gain on the play. Yeah, and that's the hard thing about these QBs that can move and run all over the place and give you so many options is that that didn't even look like much, but he chews up so much yardage and gets those little gains that just death by a thousand cuts that continue to happen with this offense. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. He'll be stopped short, picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football 
even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on Number running the football, you can tell. Now it looks as if they'll settle for the field goal try. And it's right down the boulevard. Give the defense a ton of credit in this sudden change situation. Their offense just popped it up. And when this defense comes out, they go three and out and force a field goal. That's a win if you're on defense. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Texas offense. This time, they need to take care of the ball and maybe extend this lead, David. And I think you got to look at the positive, Reese. You still got the lead. He holds it in, and nobody's close. Nothing but green grass down the middle. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown, Longhorns! You know, quarterbacks and receivers, they develop confidence and chemistry as the game goes on. These two right now are definitely on the same page. Ready to try the point after. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. That kind of drive will boost your confidence. One play, hit the big pass, put a touchdown on the board. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Hawkins. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Off play action on first down. He finds his man. And he picks up the first down, and he does it. I'm not going to say spin move. That was a pirouette. It was elegant. It was beautiful. But we knew this quarterback could put up some monster numbers. He is putting on a clinic in this game. He now has over 400 yards passing. Lining up from the 34 on first down. They'll give it to Johnson. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Small game, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Solid pick up a four on first down and second and six. Now the play fake. Fires to the wide out. He's got it. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. He's now over 150 yards on the day. They're finding ways to get him the ball, much like the Gators did in 07, getting it to Percy Harvin, who had 100-yard receiving games and 100-yard rushing games that year. He was just such a weapon. When you got weapons, you learn how to use them, and you learn how to deploy them in all kinds of different ways. If I'm Florida, continue to find ways to find that guy, because whether it's zone, man, whatever, he wins. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm. Looking for a man. It's Lagway. Makes the grab over the middle. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. You know, we joked that the tight end's always open, David, but play action almost makes it impossible to keep them covered. And yeah, because those guys, they're such good blockers most of the time. They're big and physical, and they sell block for a second, and then they run open, and they find holes in zones, and they get good matchups. And man, those tight ends nowadays are nightmares for defenses to try to stop. Working their way closer and closer, a third down conversion, and they've got it at the 26. 
You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. The Gators getting set on first and ten. Might as well give it to him again. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making a good run. Great job finishing with his pads. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. They'll give it to the back. The Gators get enough to move the chains. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. Down to the 16-yard line, it's first and 10. To the ground with the back. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, Then you open it up for the passing game. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. They go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. He's got him still on his feet. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. So nice when you're in offense and you get in these third and shorts. And you know the defense has to be aggressive, has to commit guys up front, especially in the red zone area. Nice job by this offense. Slipping in the pass, getting rid of the football, setting up a first and goal. A first down run in the red zone. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Second and goal coming up. To the edge, it's Johnson. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Now listen, the defense won that play. As an offense here, the key, David, you can't go back-to-back -back negative plays. you got to be smart with the football here. Looks like you're going to have to throw it. You just can't force it. you got to make sure you're playing with that clock in your head. You can't take a sack. And I think this is a situation where I spread you out. I get more speed on the field. I make the defense declare. I see what they're in. for this young man. Three receiving touchdowns. Hey, defense, that guy's good. We might want to do something about it. Let's send two at him. Let's send three at him. We can't let this guy continue to be this time and time again. They opt to go for two to try to tie it up right now. Back to throw, it's Lagway. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Fourth conversion is no good. That keeps the score. Texas, 42, Florida. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. The Longhorn sending the offense back onto the field. 
After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. He'll take a deep shot here. Oh, did he toast the coverage? Got it deep downfield. Touchdown, Texas! And they take it in for six more points. Number two. Have a day, young fella. I foresee some social media posts in his future. Not one, not two, but three receiving touchdowns on the day. What a ball game. Lining up for the PAT. The extra point is good, and they have a nine-point lead. They wasted no time on that drive. Got it on their 25, and two plays later, they're in the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. First down here for the offense. They'll leave it with him. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got three on first down in second and seven. They'll go right back to it. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Looking downfield, it's Lagway. And they fail to hook up on third down. Well, in the first half, this offense was up and down the field. It seemed like everything they were dialing up was working. And here we are in the third quarter, and there's a very rare incompletion on their own end of the field. Maybe that's the play the defense needs now to spark some momentum. And the Gators will try to pin them back with the punt. Running it back, it's Bolden. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. And here comes the Texas offense back on the field. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well, Palmer. They executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Sometimes your tight end's a safety valve, and sometimes he's your go-to receiver. And the offense knew right away it was the primary target. It was where he was going with the football, because you know you get a little bit of suck up from those linebackers with the play action, and you feed the big fella. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's open on the right. Open runway ahead. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. 
And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. The huge explosive play put them right on the doorstep, and now they've got to punch it in. Looking to throw, it's Ewers. Getting some heat. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. This QB has been so comfortable all day long. Obviously having a ton of success, you've got to affect him. You've got to put some hits on those body blows so you can make him wear out and physically feel you. This is the first time really getting to him. His defense needed this bad. Now try to power it in. And they stop him again for no gain. And it will be third down. Yeah, and if you go big, I'm going big. I'm going to bring an extra defensive lineman. I'm going to bring in my big physical linebackers. I'm expecting run. This is what they've done. This is what you do on this part of the field. So I'm going to play aggressive on defense. You can't hear yourself think on third and goal. Touchdown, Longhorns! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. They want to see if they can score the deuce. Fast motion from the offense. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Several defenders there to get him on the ground. And these decisions to go for two, you see more and more of it throughout a game, chasing points. And then in the end, you wonder if this just comes back to bite you. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner will be knocked down. The Gators sending the offense back to work. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. Yeah, and just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you in attacking. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. Clock taking away as we have four minutes left here in the third. They'll ride the hot hand. And he's stuffed by that big defensive tackle up front. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. The back goes in motion. Looking downfield, it's Lagway. Working that left side now. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. And as a quarterback, when you're throwing these slant routes against man coverage, location is so important. You want to put the football in a place that your receiver can catch the ball and continue advancing. So nice job by that QB, putting the football right on the face basket of his wide receiver. Keeps the legs moving. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. The Gators line up to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. So Texas has it again, and here comes the offense. 
boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. From the gun, the ground game. Into a mass of giant bodies. We'll call it a one-yard gain to the 24. Boy, could they use a conversion on third and short from their own 24. To the ground to try to pick up the first. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running for the football, nowhere to go. The Longhorns will send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Give to the single back. Finds his way for three out to the 33. It's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The handoff to Johnson. Bulls his way forward. Stuffed almost in his track, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. The short throw to the sideline is complete, and he's out of bounds after picking up a couple. It's a really nice job in coverage defensively there because that tight end, he wasn't really even open. Quarterback just still tried to put it on him and, and give him an opportunity, but great tackle, short of the stick, setting up fourth down. The Gators will line up to punt it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Bringing it back, it's Bolden. Excellent coverage and tackle that time, and that's how the third quarter comes to a close. We've been treated to an aerial show by these two guys so far as you check out their numbers. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. And here come the horns. They've got it again on offense. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. To the air, it's yours. Just a short pass to the tight end. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Didn't get enough to move the sticks, but enough to leave them with the decision. And the defense did a great job. Understanding the sticks, rallying to the football, getting them on the ground, and you're right, he's fourth and short. That means decision time, or for us, green line. Go for it. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. They'll get him down at the 21-yard line. The coverage team able to stop him right there. 
Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Catch in the middle, it's Wilson. And he's brought down after a nice game. He's now over 150 yards receiving. Might be worth noting that Taylor Jacobs holds a single game record with 246. Yeah, and when he got speed on the outside, find him, bro. I mean, those guys that are going to make plays, uh, those are the guys I'm going to feature and continue to find. And so far, he hasn't disappointed. So if I'm Florida, I'm going to keep exploiting that matchup. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And it wasn't lack of effort by the running back. He was trying. He could tell he fought one guy off, but another guy in his face right away, but just trying to do something. The offensive line needs to do a better job keeping some guys off this guy. Come on, man. Take care of your running back. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. It's complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. And the Gators have it with a first and ten. The give. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. I tell you what, they're down, but they're not out with this guy. They keep feeding him. He keeps having success on the ground. Maybe I use this now to catapult, use some play action, make some bigger plays down the field. But the run game has not been the problem. Looking to pass. It's Lagway. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. Looking to pick up a first down on third and short from the 43. It'll be a draw. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. Keep the foot on the pedal if you're on offense here. You got that yardage. Yeah, you didn't get the first down, but you've set yourself up now to go for it here and keep this drive alive. And they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. This kicker bragged that he can kick an 80-yard field goal. He'll settle for a 59-yarder here. And the try is no good. Missed opportunity with the field goal, and the deficit is still 15. 55, Florida, 40. So now the Longhorns take over, and they'll send out the offense. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable in that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Wide out in motion. the pull and throw off the RPO. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Love the play call on the RPO. That time the defender bites on the run fake and that opens up the window for the slam coming in behind it. Nice job. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. To throw, it's Ewers. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And the beatdown has ensued. There's no mercy rule in college football, man. They've got a huge lead here in the fourth quarter. They are still chucking it, and they are still scoring. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. 
quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the finisher coming on a touchdown pass from 52 yards out. The kickoff unit about to go to work. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. He makes the connection. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. You're going to win this game. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Right down the middle. He's got it. Can anyone catch him? He found open space. The band might as well start playing. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, Dave. And listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. They'll line up to go for two. Trying to barge their way in. And the defense drags him down. Yeah, and the defense comes up with the stop. And you just wonder, the analytics world and all that stuff, that whatever the card says to do, you're supposed to do. I wonder if they were listening to that card. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the Texas offense. Out of the shoot, quick toss to the right. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Scanning the field, it's yours. Hauls it in. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. He just keeps piling up numbers with completion after completion in this standout performance. And I think some people might say late in the game, you got the win, everything's in hand, be a little bit conservative, or you just say, I'm just going to keep doing me. And what I do with this offense is throw the football all over the yard, and I'm going to try to win me a big trophy at the end of the year. Caught behind the line. It's Moore. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. He's been so locked in, it seems like any pass called is a guaranteed chunk play. Yeah, and in winning late like this in the ball game, keep trusting him, keep spinning. You know why? Because stats matter late in the game. You want some postseason awards? Keep chucking it. Keep getting those stats. Pulls and throws off the RPO. Open space at the 25. And you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. Defense just hasn't had an answer for this guy. He has been on point. This is about as good as I've seen him play at the quarterback position. And here in the fourth quarter with the big lead, he's still taking shots. The Longhorns want to pick up the tempo. They want to just keep throwing it gets it out quickly. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it's still a positive game. And the Longhorns look to do some damage in the red zone. Caught in the backfield. It's Bond. 
And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pick on it. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. He's looking to throw on third and short. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make it accurate enough. Throw it ball, ball's incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. On fourth down, they'll run it, looking for the first. Touchdown, Longhorns! And the punishment has been extended. If you want to know how to reach this guy, just send his mail to the end zone. That's where he lives. He definitely is today. And I think the defense has to be getting a little sick and tired of the same guy beating him time and time again. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They marched 78 yards down the field, and it was punctuated by an 11-yard run for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he hauls it in, and everybody's on the edge of their seats. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. First snap of this drive will come from inside the 15 at their own 14-yard line. The short hands, it's Badger. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. Here's the deal. You're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're going to come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. Back to throw. It's Lagway. It's complete on the right side. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. It's first and ten from the 38-yard line. He's looking to throw it. That's caught. It's Badger. Well, here's the problem offensively because you're trailing by so much so late in the game. The defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. He's got his man. He'll be tackled at the 49 after a pickup of five. You got to give the O-line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him. He's able to turn it up and get a first down. The Gators are rolling down the field. They'll throw it on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. The incompletion brings us to second and ten. He's looking to throw. And there was no for this quarterback and down he goes this quarterback has been under duress all game long he's one of the best in the country and he's used to having his way he's the one who's used to dictating to opposing defenses but that has not been the case in this game here we are late he's still under pressure taking a sack there this is a third and long Looking to throw, it's Lagway. And a 
missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here with a big lead in the game. You're putting extra DBs on the field knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field and they force an incompletion on the last one. On fourth down, looking to pass. Unleashes one deep. And it's incomplete the long pass on fourth down is to no avail. On first down, here comes this offense. From the gun, the running back has it. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. This guy's been running hard all game long in the fourth quarter now with that last run. He's now at 99 yards rushing. One more carry away from potentially reaching that 100-yard milestone that all running backs covet. Caught in the backfield, it's Bond. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. It's hard to have success on wide receiver screens when you're facing press man coverage because your blockers out front oftentimes can't pick them up and that receiver gets gobbled up as soon as he catches the pass. You saw it on that last one. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. On second down, he'll let it fly. Grabbed behind the line, it's blue. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. The Longhorns looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. Got it, looking for a first. Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there in a similar situation with a lead like this. Uh, they'd definitely be running the ball at this point. Uh, they'd probably take their starting quarterback out of the game, potentially, but not this unit. They are still staying aggressive. They're still taking shots. They're just trying to light up the scoreboard. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, trying to power to the goal line. Tripped up for the tackle. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. You know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today. they got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. Wants to fire it in the end zone on third and goal. They're working that left side. Strong, firm tackle. Love the play call offensively because you've got the lead. The defense expects you to run the ball. You just did it the previous play, so there you dial up play action, set up an easy throw, and you keep the clock ticking. Fourth and goal from the two. Can they finish this drive? Barges ahead. And the pummeling has started. And you knew this one was over already, but how about an exclamation point to go with it? Another score for this offense. They've had themselves a great day, and the stats just continue to pile up. Lining up to add another. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So they move the ball 37 yards on the drive. 
and finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. Set to kick it away. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Gators sending the offense back to work. He wants to start this drive with a pass. This one is pretty much... It's complete! A huge pickup! And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. You know, as the head coach of this team, this is one positive you're going to take away from this game is that your players don't quit and they're still willing to fight. There's obviously a lot of things they've got to iron out offensively, and we've seen that today. But I do love the grit they're showing here late, still trying to make plays. Exploded for a huge chunk of yards on that last one. They'll try to do it again here, first and 10 from the 33. He's going to pass. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Oh, the offense very fortunate to fall on that football. 